Welcome to Satish Speaks channel. Legendary investor Warren Buffett, he follows two golden rule when he is managing his own personal portfolio. Rule number one, which is never lose your money. Rule number two, never forget the rule number one. He says he feels whenever you are making any investment in stock or your personal money into any other form of investment, it should be high conviction focused, more profitable. You should never ever lose your money. In this video, I am going to explain to you that why 70% of the people, investors, lose their money in stock market and what you should not do to lose your money or what you should do in order to make your money more profitable for you. I am Satish, financial consultant, author of this book called Untold Wealth Secrets, author of his second book which is Middle Class to Million Dollar. Also, I write the personal finance column in Nanaya Magadan which is Middle Class to Million Dollar. So far, 22 episodes I have got. If you need any recommendation, advisory in equity, stock market, mutual fund, PMS, my WhatsApp number there in the description, connect with me. If you are watching this video, please be generous, please click the like button because the chances of this video reaching multiple people very high when you click the like button. Okay. Why? 70% of the people are losing their money in the stock market. There are three important reasons. Number one is that they don't have that emotional balance, no temperament. Of course, temperament is much more important than stock picking or than a picking up a high performing mutual fund. When the market goes down a bit, a little, market is volatile, you should never exit and encash your money. So, temperament is very important. Fear and greed. How are you managing these two emotions, important emotions? Number one. Number two, very less investing horizon. Every investment cycle, asset class has a cycle. For example, equity has five years of cycle. Gold has 10 years of cycle. Real estate has 20 years of cycle. Or you stayed invested for the entire period. So, investing for a very low investing horizon or less investing horizon, number two reason. Number three, they are choosing investments, instruments, stock without having a suitability of their risk appetite. In this video, I am going to explain to you why risk appetite is extremely important when constructing a portfolio and how every investor misses it in a big time. Two questions you need to ask when it comes to managing your own risk profile is Number one question is when do you need this money? You are investing money for some horizon, when are you going to need this? That determines the instrument. Number two, how much you can afford to lose? Lose means the mark to market losses. When the volatility happens, how much you can afford to see your portfolio is going down? Mentally as well as financially, both aspects are important. That is temperament. So when you answer these two questions, it is extremely simple to pick up instruments. Look at Warren Buffett portfolio himself. In 1987, this portfolio suffered 37 percentage of loss, 37 percent volatility, huge financial crisis that was. And again, when it comes to the dot com crisis, 1998 to 2000, again this portfolio suffered 49 percent loss, 49 percent, huge. Again, the great financial depression happened in 2008. At that time, 51 percentage of loss. He didn't exit. He didn't do anything. He just focused and stay invested in these times. Do you have the temperament to stay invested? That's the first important question. There are endless possibilities, endless. See, hike in interest rates, corporate earnings, HDFC Bank, Infosys announced the results. It is lower than the market expectation. Inflationary concern in US, continuous lockdown in Shanghai, political crisis, economical crisis. There are always there will be a negative news which is impacting stock market. But are you going to stay invested? Because these news are not going to affect the stock market for five years and above. Please be concerned with any news which is going to affect, impact the stock market for five years and above. See, whenever um, I go to a restaurant or any, any hotel, good hotel, my favorite uh, activity is to indulge in swimming pool. So, why I am bringing this example is, this is where I draw the parallel to acts 
my hobby and the serious business which is investing so whenever we go to a resort or any place hotel luxury hotel the swimming pool is divided into three different category the first category is 3 feet swimming pool where kids can enjoy the second category is a 5 feet swimming pool where adults can enjoy swim the third category is a 10 feet category where serious swimmers good swimmers divers can enjoy and relax whenever i um, invite my kids for swimming pool they go and relax themselves in 3 feet swimming pool only if you are a beginner if you are a first time investor in equity or mutual fund please stick to mutual funds please take guidance please take a help from an expert you are obviously a kid you should be swimming only in the 3 feet swimming pool not in 5 feet or not in 10 feet because there are wealth creators in investment and there are wealth destroyers in investment you are a beginner you might not know what is wealth creation and what is wealth destruction for example reliance communication it was trading around 274 in 2008 and today it is 14 rupees reliance power 800 rupees in 2008 today it is 3 rupees suslon 433 to 10 rupees s bank 393 in 2018 to 15 rupees dhfl 600 rupees to 16 rupees there are i can say go on and on and on say lot of example best destruction example you would have seen only good examples right like that one lakh invested in infosys is 1 crore one lakh invested in mrf is 2 crore one lakh invested in britannia is 5 crore something like that but wealth destruction does happen in stock market so if you are a beginner it's good to take help it good to invest you start your investment with equity because mutual fund equity investment is is like a driving a car with the help of a driver you don't know driving you are a first time driver so take help from a driver once you get accustomed once you are a seasoned player once you learn the driving then you can come into 5 feet swimming pool which is stock then you can analyze a business with quality financials fundamentals valuation and then investing stock market don't directly jump into stock market which is which can be dangerous which can be wealth destruction your investment journey might not be smooth and might not be comfortable definitely so 3 feet swimming pool is mutual fund with recommendation or taking a help from an expert 5 feet swimming pool is stock market delivery basis once you become a seasoned investor once you become an expert in investing then probably you may try options and futures i will never ever recommend but many investor first time investor they actively do trading in option and futures which is extremely bad strategy it is a best way to lose their money <coughs> so if you manage your portfolio like this taking a help from an expert investing from mutual fund understand the volatility then gradually go from mutual funds to equity that is the way you can create sustainable wealth your portfolio should be high conviction focused and profitable if you need any help in mutual fund equity or portfolio management system picking up right stock my whatsapp number there the description connect with me and If you are watching this video if you enjoy this content please click the like button when you click the like button the chances of this video reaching multiple people very high i will be really happy and please be generous clicking the like button and if you are if you need any assistance in mutual fund equity whatsapp number there and stay tuned to this channel i will be bringing much more informative content on personal finance equity and mutual fund stay tuned i'll see you soon